What's up, everybody, and welcome to another great episode of America's Best Restaurants. I'm getting ready to check out the Mazan House. And the thing about the Mazan House is I hear they have a whole lot of history that's involved with this restaurant. On top of that, I understand that they're a really great family. I'm really getting giddy for this episode. I'm ready to go inside, have some fun, and of course, get to the eating. It's time to get to the eating. What you gonna make for me today? I think we're gonna do some uh, uh, shrimp and grits. Oh, nice. We can't go to a Cajun restaurant without getting some shrimp and grits. I feel like that's like a law somewhere. I don't know. If not, you know, Biden get on it. We need to pass that law. You, you gotta get shrimp and grits when you go to a Cajun place. We're starting with uh, some nice golf shrimp and uh, we're gonna sear them in the pan. I'm gonna have, I have my own blend of seasonings that we use. Oh, that's your own blend? Oh yeah. Oh, nice, yeah, nice. Yeah, we, we fill it, we fill these things up. This is a smoked paprika. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but, we, but we fill this with our own seasonings and uh, yeah, we're gonna get that nice and hot. So we're just browning the, we, we, we whip garlic oil with pieces of garlic into the butter and oil. I'm just letting that sizzle a little bit, flip it over. The smells right now that are coming off of this smell amazing. I mean, first off, garlic and butter. I mean, come on, man. Is there any better smell in the culinary world than garlic and butter? It's kind I don't of, think so. It's kind of like a Cajun uh, scampi. Now, this is a, a Creole sauce that we're creating. Ooh. It's it's uh, a little bit of a Worcestershire and Louisiana hot sauce. Nice, nice. And then we have our own little herb curry that we add to the, we use it in the catfish as well. Ooh. And then, of course, good old Paradox Pilsner or, or some or some light beer. I can do light beer if I can. So what does the light beer do for this dish? Uh, it gives it a little depth of flavor, kind of perks it up a little bit, I think. Okay, then we have our grits that mm -hmm. we made. Mm -hmm. Those grits look fire! <laughs> yeah, some cheddar cheese in there, good old Vermont cheddar. Ooh, some Vermont cheddar, okay. <laughs> Listen, cheddar always makes it better, baby. That's what I always say. There you go, see that? Okay, oh, that smells yeah, that's great. Nice. Okay, you can see the pan through. So are we done here? Yeah, I'm gonna add a little, I'm gonna grab a little bit of green onion over here. I'm Ooh, sorry. Let me back off real quick. Let me back. <laughs> I'm just I'm just excited to try stuff right now. I think a little bit of you gotta have a little salad on there, you know. This smells and looks so good. I'm Yas with you, Dave. Makes me wanna kiss my grits. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I am so excited to sink my teeth into this. You nice piece of shrimp right here. Yes! Yes, sir! Right. Thank you so much. First, I love the flavor of that little sauce that you put in there. Yeah. On top of the cheesy grits, so much flavor going crazy inside of that. I mean, that is off the hook. And then the seasoning that's on top of that shrimp, I can't wait to try it on anything else that you give me here today. Dave, that is amazing. Thank you so much for this great dish. I can't wait to try more of your food, man. Right now I have Diane, she is one of the owners of the Mazan House. Uh, she is the wife of Dave. And then I have her lovely daughter, Becca, sitting right next to me. So <laughs> one of the things I wanna ask about is, first off, the aesthetic is absolutely brilliant inside of here. I mean, it really kind of gives you the feeling that you were sitting in the French Quarter down in New Orleans. I would like to know about the aesthetic and how you guys got so close to the feel of New Orleans. Well, it's, you know, we've always uh, loved New Orleans. We um, travel there quite a lot. Our whole family has gone. Um, I think it, the influence of New Orleans is actually, you almost feel like you're in Europe or you're another place. Um, and uh, that's what we wanted people to feel when they came here, was that they're being transported to a different, a different uh, feeling a different time and um, it also this house has quite a lot of history um, so it, um, it was basically owned um, by our Ardell Mouzon and um, Ardell was one of the first women's to women to um, have a deed uh, to a home wow. Wow. The, the sole owner of this house um, her daughter Mia was the first graduate of a woman of color to graduate from Skidmore College. 
Um, and um, we purchased the house from Mia. And she told us the entire story of the house, the fact that um, this was a whole neighborhood taken by eminent domain, and her mother re refused to sell. Wow. And so it's last remaining house um, on, the, on what was a street, no longer is. And um, when uh, Mia put the house up for sale, we came and looked at it. Um, we were on our way to the farmer's market, which is right in the park here. And um, we saw the for sale sign and I was like, hmm, maybe we should check that out. And so we did. And then we found out the history of the house and realized that this would make a wonderful um, restaurant. And so we um, wrote up an offer and got to know, uh, she accepted the offer and we got to um, know Mia very well. She was um, a frequent diner here, <laughs> and um, she told us her entire history, which is absolutely amazing. What's this dish I'm looking at right here? That is the catfish, the blackened catfish. Oh, yes. look at that. That is so pretty. I know this thing is going to taste phenomenal, so I, I can't wait to sink my teeth into this bad boy. <laughs> wow. You gotta get it with sweet potatoes. Oh, I'm, I'm going for it. do the whole thing. Oh, I'm going for it. A little, little bit it. of everything. Oh, yeah. trust me, I'm going for it. Oh my god. tell you how to eat. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is... Oh. I'm making noises now. <laughs> yeah, that slaps hard. That slaps hard and you're right. We can get, put that catfish, pair it along with the sweet potatoes because you're getting this, that, that heat coming off of the blackened, mm -hmm. which is, first off, catfish seasoned perfectly. I'm always, always concerned, particularly when I go to a place that says they're Cajun and then they don't properly season the food. No, that is a <laughs> phenomenal dish, guys. So many different layers of flavor going on there. I mean, the sweet potatoes and the, the collard greens, I'm gonna give those another shot as well. And the thing about it, so much flavor in that. I was talking to Dave earlier, and he was telling me, there's no pork in that. There's no meat in that. Oh, that is vegetarian. Yeah, yeah. That is absolutely vegetarian. So for people that are vegetarians, you are 100% safe when you come here inside, you want to order the dollar greens. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, I mean, especially without having any meat in that, so that is really I guess really vegan, flavor. you would say, right? Because there's no dairy or Yeah, anything. absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, so, I mean, just crazy flavors going on here. Uh, that is definitely, um, Definitely an A plus dish right there. That is phenomenal. Now, this bad boy right here, I've been staring at. What am I looking at right here? What is this? That's a fried chicken over jambalaya. <laughs> over jambalaya. This, oh, look at that. That is, look at that. Mouth is watering. That's a good sign, always off to a great start. Water, 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 water. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm back. Okay. <clears throat> now, I'm gonna tell you something. You know this jambalaya is good when I totally just forgot about eating the chicken. Again, seasoned so appropriately for a Cajun restaurant. Um, not shy with seasonings, but seasonings are overpowering. I mean, the flavors are just going crazy in here. I love the sauces that, that was used in this. Mm -hmm. I just eat a plate of the jambalaya mm -hmm. and I'd be good. But this chicken looks absolutely insane. Oh, I can't wait to bite. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, and this is a filet too. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can just bite right into it. Oh, I'm going right for it. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. I ain't doing this no more. You see the smile on my face? <laughs> this ain't AI. This is my fat boy senses coming up from my gut. <laughs> to tell y'all, I love this food. Oh, thank, thank you. you. <clears throat> this food is absolute fire. This slaps super hard. <laughs> Matter of fact, I think I might have to do it. Muzan House has earned my absolute highest honor. I'm gonna say that again, because <laughs> I can't talk. Like, honestly, I can't talk right now. Like, <laughs> my taste buds are just, my taste buds are bugging for, bugging for more chicken. Bugging, asking, begging. I, I can't talk right now. I can't even do my job. So good! The Muzan House has earned my highest honor. And that is a two snaps and a Ric Flair. Woo!
food. Cause the food is fire, baby. Oh my goodness. Give yourselves a nice round of applause. This is, I mean, off the hook. Between that catfish with the sweet potatoes, collard greens with that curry. I gotta thank you guys so much for allowing America's Best Restaurants to highlight your restaurant. You guys are amazing. This restaurant is amazing. I love your family. I love your family unit. I love what you guys stand for. And as far as I'm concerned, every business should aspire to be like you guys. I gotta tell you, we had a phenomenal time here at the Mazan House. The food was absolutely fire. I mean, come on. They got my patent at two snaps and a Ric Flair, woo! But you know what? What I thought was even more incredible than the food was the history of the house and the family. I loved every aspect of this restaurant. I definitely say you should come on over to the Muzon House. With that said, I'm Theo Williams for America's Best Restaurants. Hope to see you.